Kia ora, ko Sharon Holt tō kuingwa. My name is Sharon Holt and I'm the author of Te Reo Sing Along Books. Now this is the most recent one that we have published and we've got two more coming out very, very soon in the next few days. Um, but, be, but before they came out, I just wanted to let you know, in case you haven't already found out about it, that this is one of the ones that you will really love to get. If you haven't already got this picture dictionary, I highly recommend it and here's why. So I actually wrote this picture, picture dictionary because it was the picture dictionary that I really wished somebody had written. So that's what an author does when she can't find the book she writes, she writes it herself. So what I did with this picture dictionary is that I get, put the um, words into categories. So for example, we've got the animals and then we've got pets and we've got clothing, singular and plural, and we've got feelings and actions, then we've got vehicles and food, and we've got colours and numbers, we've got playing and shapes, we've got the natural world and our beautiful native birds, parts of the body, plural and singular, the whānau, the family, um, positions, you know, up, down, forward, back, describing words, so words for things like spotted and striped and soft and hard, and insects, lots of random words that come under the category of ngā mea, which means things, days of the week, uh, months of the year, and also time. So there's so much in this book, and there isn't a CD because it can't be a song. So it's the only one that isn't also a song. But what it does have is the app where I'm pronouncing all those words. And the best thing of all is that these words aren't just words in isolation anymore. These words, unlike most picture dictionaries, have a sentence structure for each of these word categories. So each of these word categories has a different sentence structure. So as well as all these pages in the book, there are all those sentence structures and you just need to fill in the gap on that sentence structure. And I'm pronouncing the sentences as well. So, as you can see, there's a lot inside this book and I really recommend that if you haven't already purchased it, that it would be a really great addition. Not just for children, and probably not really mainly for children, although children particularly in primary schools and some in early childhood would love it because they love looking at all those pictures and etc etc. But really for your own learning, for our own learning to get us beyond colours, numbers, greetings and commands and use some of the words we know in sentences, this is a really good book for you. So I just wanted to make a bit of a plug for this beautiful book that I've written and hopefully that will, if you've got um, a little bit of spare money in your budget, I highly recommend this as a great book to assist you on your Māori language journey.